20 seconds. 15 seconds. Stop and go. Water go. 10, 9, 8, 7, igniter is armed, green board, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, main engine start, and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with the MAP spacecraft, exploring the past and future of our universe. Guidance system has started, Each program is in, roll program is in. Initially, smooth flight being reported. Solid motors are now at maximum thrust. T plus 30 seconds. Flight looking good. We've just gone through the sound barrier. Normal, normal vibrations. First stage control looks good. Vehicle on course. Through the transonic region now, standing by for solid rocket booster burnout. And solid motor jettison. We have all four solid motors have jettisoned. The two disturbances look good at jettison. All the disturbances have been damped out. Copy. Pad pressures are within personnel safe limits. Release the fire. Two plus eighty-five seconds. The vehicle has an altitude. We have an altitude of fifteen nautical miles. Downrange distance thirty-one nautical miles and a velocity of twenty-five hundred miles an hour. These systems continue to look good. We're listening to. Boeing telemetry manager Mark LeBain. Not too much to report at this time. The controls have smoothened out very nicely. Two, two minutes plus 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Watch tank. Pressure has uh, been reset. Sequence run channel one. Getting in on time, we see the normal increase in locked tank pressure. 19 colon 46 colon 46 decimal 183. Happy 19 46 46 decimal 183. Stage one guidance has come in. The engine and burners continue to burn well. We're passing T plus 166 seconds, and the vehicle is climbing out down the center of the range corridor. Base systems continue to look good. Vehicle pneumatic and electrical systems are normal. Three minutes, 10 seconds into the flight. T plus 190 seconds. We are now at an altitude of 37 nautical miles, downrange distance 123 nautical miles, and a velocity of 6,100 miles per hour. The controls are still looking very smooth as we fly into the thin ionosphere. T plus 220 seconds. Approaching the maximum skin temperature on the vehicle. Next uh, event is a Miko coming up in about 30 seconds. That's first stage main engine cutoff. Main engine and burners continue to do well. Chamber pressures look nominal there. Passing 255 seconds. We have our fuel float switch, locks float switch, and we have enabled Miko. And we have Miko. The main engine has cut off both burn ears looking good.